Right, so I'm gonna try and film this video while I have a little bit of natural light left. It's like, just gone half four and I've left it to the last minute. But, ta-da! If you've seen my previous um, video about my coffee machine, you'll know I unboxed it, set it up, and then it had to go back. So I've ended up just exchanging it for what I know, what I know I like, what, it's an espresso. My other espresso that I've got in the cupboard, I cracked the water tank and to replace a water tank, it was like 30 quid on Amazon. And for another 30, well, this was about 80, 90 quid, I can get a brand new machine in the colour I want and all the water tanks are different to different espresso machines. So I weren't even sure which one I was gonna get and then sending it back, messing around. So I just, yeah. Just went for this so i've got so we've got the amazon box and the espresso box then we have the actual box it's the it's the white virtue plus the only downside to this model is the fact that you can only buy pods from Nespresso so if you don't have a Nespresso shop near you which I don't you have to order it online so you have to remember to order before you run out which I never do or I mean yeah I think you can order some on Amazon but I don't know how they're doing it because they're not meant to do that so I don't know where they come from so oh okay oh I see I like so we have all the instructions I mean I know how to use this machine but I'm, I can't remember what you have to do before you use it for the first time my voice is going so I'm guessing we need to do like a run through you get some pods which I'll show in a minute mm. this is different this is different to my other one it my other one isn't rounded like that I'm sure it's not hang on Ooh. I like this. Right, let me just get it out. This is different. This is definitely, it's different. That might, oh, okay. You see, this is what I mean by every tank is different. I thought this machine was the same machine as my black one that I've got, but in white. It did look slightly different on the top. This water tank here they both said Nespresso Virtue Plus um this is my old tank that it's got a hole in it this is the new tank for the other machine it's way smaller that's bizarre so this is what I mean about ordering the different tanks so I could have ordered a replacement tank like this and I don't think that would have fitted on my other machine I don't know so here she is You can put them, depending on the size of your cup, you can put them wherever. And then at the back, if it's the same as my other machine, this bit here, what the tank goes on to move. So hang on a minute. Yeah. So you can either have the water tank out to the side or it will go in line with the back. You can move that, it's on like a hinge. So if you need this back bit to be flush to the wall, it can stick out a bit. If, um, if that's not the case, you can just push it so it's in line with the machine. So it's all one like that. I tend to have it like that. Let's plug you in. But it just lifts up like that. Your pod goes in there. And then boom, down. Let me get my black one out and show you the difference. Excuse that, it's, <laughs> it's been in the cupboard, it's battered and whatnot, but look, they're very different at the top there. This is rounded, this has got this. I mean, I wonder if that water tank would fit on there. Oh my God, it would. I don't know whether it'd actually work, but that's a massive difference. That also says Krups or whatever. Krups, is that what it says? This says Mag, Maggie, Maggie Mix. I don't know. 
Um, and that's like the hardware. There's like metal, and that's not. Uh, look, that's like silver, and that's plastic. I prefer this one with the silver. I could wonder if I could. I can swap and change. Look at that. That needs a cleaning. No, I'll keep the one that goes with it. Um, but yeah, this is my old one, and you can see. You see the difference. Right, I'm just going to go and quickly read to see, I'm just going to go and quickly read to see what I need to do, but I'm guessing it, it'll just be to flush it through. Hang on. Right, so I think it, you have to rinse the water tank, place the container on the machine, turn the machine on, press the button at the top three times within two seconds, and then the machine will start to rinse. The procedure may take up to seven minutes. Your machine is now ready to use. I'll probably run it through twice because I always do things like when I'm descaling these machines, I'll rinse it through a million times. Oh, this water tank's cute. It's so small. Right, I'm going to need to put something under it. So there's water in the back. Let's go that for a look. Hello. Hello. Isn't she lovely? Eh? Oh no, she's wobbling. Not a bit plug that. I'm gonna keep this guy as back up, my old faithful. Oh, there we are, look. Oh. Oh, oh, which way are you going? Right, well, she's doing a thing. I'll open these. I love how it's just like a box of chocolates. Like, look at the top, it shows you what you've got, the strength, everything. And then you've got like your little wrapper. It's so cute. It just makes you want to eat them, doesn't it? So there we go. Oh, I can see my favourite. I hope it's not a decaf one. No. My favourite is Fortado, I highly recommend. It's just a very, what's the word, versatile pod. It's bigger than a espresso shot, which is not enough for me really, but it's big enough to do all things with iced coffee, lattes, different, you know, it's just the perfect size. That sounds like someone's having a wee now, doesn't it? We've got one decaf, so we've got three espresso shots, two double espresso shots, two grand lungos, and then four coffee mugs. So you have like, look, you can see the difference. So this is the espresso, that's the double. This is the grand lungo. There's not much in them, really. And then this is, this is your coffee mug, so for like, so for like a full cup of Stormio, I love that one too. So yeah, there's the range. They also do another one, like a giant mug. I don't know if you can see this properly to pause and it's got the strength. Oh, where are you? It's the bloody camera. The, so that's the coffee, the name, the strength. Um, yeah. So you've got the espresso, the double, the lungos, and then these. They do so many more on the website. They do lots and lots. Thank you. Anyway, that's still doing its thing. My mum also got a order for me and her, so she got me a Mexican. What I'll do after this, I'll set up my little station over there. Um, what's that? Colombian. And then I've got three, four to do because she knows I like that one. And then they also popped in an actual box of chocolates. That stopped but the water's not come out. Does that mean they think that's all we need? Well, I'm doing it again. They popped in some chocolates, so the caramel, and my mum didn't want them, so she's given them to me. Right, I'll just put that on again. Yeah, they do all sorts on there, and espresso, they do like all the mugs, they do different accessories, different things that you can hold your pods in, um, travel mugs, chocolates, they do all sorts. Oh, ah, they're all falling out into the sink. I've got four in sink. Should we try one? 
salted caramel. Mm. All right, that's the nice then. I assume they will get quite sickly. Not overpowering with the salted caramel, which is perfect. No, they're nice. Couldn't eat too many. Right, so that's stopped doing what it's doing. <laughs> My house now looks like an absolute disaster area. I've got boxes and packaging bits and coffee pods and every, I've got everything all over. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the kids the tea, not that you need to know that, and then I'm going to come back in about an hour. It might be slightly dull because it's starting to get dark now and I'll set up my little coffee area. Right, so this is how it looks so this is the coffee machine that i borrowed off my mom honestly if you want a cheap coffee machine this is a bean to cup so you can either buy like beans and it grinds it in there or you can buy ground um and then it just does the same and it's a filter that you just wash out and pop it in there yeah, it's, it's really good. I'm really pleased with it, actually. So I'm going to pack that away and give that back to my mum with um, that. And then there's only a tiny bit in there. And then I need to sort, sort it all out. I've got, what's it called? Hotel, uh, my velvetizer. I have got a velvetizer somewhere. I've been packing things away and I'm not quite sure where I've put it. I'm just going to sort this out and I'll, I'll come back. So, <laughs> here we have it. We have the coffee machine, my Arachino, which I found out yesterday they do this in cream slash white. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, they do it in a lighter colour, which I need. <laughs> So that'll be my next purchase. I always leave the lid off and I just pop it there or wherever because it needs airing. No matter how much you wash this, if you pop the lid on, once you've had like milk in it, I don't know, like it, it starts to smell a little bit funky. My syrup, I need more syrups. Then I've got my little coffee thing, coffee pot where I put all of my little things i just stuck that there just in case i fancy a chocolate with my coffee and that is everything i can't find my velvetizer i've packed it away somewhere i'm not sure where it is but i'm not thinking too much about this anyway because we will actually be moving soon so anyway we'll get there and then i've just got a little burner if you can hear a dog it's a pug babies <laughs> right so there we go that's my Coffee station. I think what I'll do to round the video up is I'll come back in the morning and I'll uh, make my morning coffee with you. I'm going to make a coffee now. I've just decided. It's not too late. So, yeah, I'm going to make one now. So, I'll put my milk here. My favourite pod. Sorted down. So, we, all you have to do is just tap it up like that and it just automatically goes up. And then you pop the pod in upside down, like so. Down once, there we have it. And then once that stops flashing on the top, you press it and the coffee will come out here. And then press this. And I don't know if you know, because I didn't know until a couple of months ago, that if I think if you press this three times really quickly, I think it's three, you'll have to double check. It will go blue instead of red and it will keep the drink cold and it'll froth the coffee up cold. How smart, so, I didn't know that. I've got one of them little whisks. Um, why don't we do that? delicious from an espresso machine I just I love it I just I love the espresso machines honestly they're just so good and I'm so so happy to have <laughs> to have it back without having a great big hole in the bottom of my other water tank 
I, I dropped it on the floor and there's like a hole about that big in it and I've got to try and I've got to plaster it up and everything. I'm super happy with it. I hope you've enjoyed. I would love a like a sage, you know, the sage barista machines and stuff. I love one of them. I just don't I don't have the money for them. They're very expensive and I'm quite happy with the coffee that my Nespresso machine makes. Yeah, I highly recommend them. Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already. It really does mean a lot. And I'll see you all again soon for the next video. Bye.